there's a special relation between France and the Spurs because because of Tony, of course, and also Boris. And um, I know half of the country, maybe if not the whole country, wanted the Spurs to have the first pick. So I was looking uh, at everyone, and everyone was happy. So I was too. So here's my conspiracy theory. Hearing that, because there is a history with France and the Spurs. It's Tony Parker. It's Boris Diaw. Here's what I think happened. Noted lib, Adam Silver, commissioner of the NBA, gave the Spurs the number one pick because there was a foreign prospect on the board, and since the Spurs have done so much to grow the game internationally, slash try to push for globalization. The San Antonio Spurs actively taking jobs away from Americans, and Adam Silver is okay with this. Manu Ginobili, he's from Argentina. You heard Tony Parker. You heard Boris Dia, France. Tiago Splitter, Brazil. Fabrizio Alberto, Argentina and Italy. Marco Bellinelli, Italy. Nando De Colo, France. Pau Gasol, who played there for a little bit. Spain. Corey Joseph. Canada. Patty Mills. Australia. Aaron Baines. New Zealand. Tim Duncan. U.S. Virgin Islands. Huh. So much international flavor. As globalization continues to take away American jobs. Hmm. It's sad. Does the NBA perhaps need to build a wall to keep themselves insular and insulated from decadent non-American culture? Perhaps, especially when you see what Greg Popovich had to say about Americans. You could argue these comments are traitorous. This is from an article by Seth Wickersham back in, I think, 2013. When Pop looks at American talent, he sees many players who have been coddled since 8th, ninth, and 10th grade by various factions or groups of people. But the foreign kids don't live like that. They don't feel entitled. Pop told Wickersham, essentially, that foreign players are fundamentally harder working than most American kids. Now, that is just racism. I can't believe that Popovich said that. But when you add all that up, liberal Adam Silver's globalism strategy, Greg Popovich's traitorous words about the American people. It's pretty easy to see why Silver and Popovich sat down together, burned an American flag, and said, hey, here's what's going to happen with the NBA draft lottery. You're going to get the first overall pick, and you're going to draft a Frenchman to continue to show the United States of America that they're not actually good at basketball. Nikola Jokic, best player in the world, not American. Luka Doncic, one of the best players in the world, not American. Giannis Antetokounmpo, one of the best players in the world, not American. Pattern, do you see a trend? Adam Silver is trying to ruin America from the inside. Basketball used to be our sport, but thanks to this handshake deal between he and Greg Popovich, now, guys... We're, continue, we're continuing to see the fall of our empire, the United States of America. It's very sad. I was holding a tinfoil hat up that I picked out of the trash on top of my head for the nice. entirety of that. Nice, yeah. Should we play some Toby Keith in the background? I'll put a boot in your ass and take a shot can, of the USA. Can I give my con- conspiracy I want to hear theory? it, and we'll entertain some of your conspiracy theories about why the Spurs got the number one overall pick. This is another one with, um, I guess, in an inter- international bend to it, but this one doesn't stop, doesn't stop at Adam Silver, doesn't stop at Greg Popovich. This goes all the way to the top. Emmanuel Macron, French that. prime minister. I don't oh, know. president! Ooh, the guy I don't that's know. trying to raise the retirement age. Yes. Yeah, they want to kill him. They're he's, like, they're... he's also scoring uh, ten billion euro deals as they uh, jockey for green deals. There's a headline that I've read. I have not read the article when I googled his name uh, during you know during the last break. Even Francis Macron 
or even Macron's France is overtaking declinist Britain. And you know who he has next? Who? On his in his sights? Who's that? The United States of America. Oh no. He's not stopping at overtaking Britain, which I assume this article is about. He is coming for America oh, next. And it starts with San Antonio Governor Rob Nirenberg, who born in Boston, Massachusetts. Liberal. Weird. Weird uh, eyebrow raise. Wait. Why is why is a Yankee carpetbagger coming down? Yeah. In uh, telling Great us question. to governing us Texans. I think he's making a deal with Emmanuel Macron. You know, and his hot wife. Remember, I, I didn't know that. By the way, <laughs> hey, we could talk about that. I, honestly, when I typed in Emmanuel Macron, wife was the first thing that popped up. So I imagine <laughs> she's hot. I cannot imagine she comes up and she's not. Listen, guys, the invasion continues. What is happening? What is going on? San Antonio is the westernmost city of with a population that's significant in the state of Texas. In fact, it's the city in Texas with the biggest population that's closest to the border. El Paso is a lost cause. Now, all of a sudden, as you heard from Sean Mapes there, we have a possible reunion between France and Mexico trying to invade the United States of America. American jobs are at stake. What is happening? What is going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Adam Silver and the woke globalists continue to take America down. Those are our conspiracy theories. By the way, we're having a lot of fun with those. If you believe those are serious. I saw a couple of people texting. Oh, we're making a couple of good points here. No, 